Hello guys and welcome to Hockenheim. Career mode is back and we are here to, with a vengeance in the Williams and we qualified on pole in Hockenheim. Now, obviously normally you'd have Hockenheim and the Nürburgring ring switch around. So next season we're going to have Hockenheim anyway, but the Nürburgring ring is going to be the um, would normally be the one. And as you can see, we've qualified in front of Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel. This happened last time out. In, uh, last time he was on pole in Valencia and I can tell you at the end of this episode something very important happens so stay tuned to the very end of this episode but we have already got a giant lead on Fernando Alonso of 1.6 seconds and in the Williams that's very impressive and you can see on the mini map there's a gap we've split ourselves into about three groups you've got me and you've got Alonso and a about, right about back to about 6th or 7th then you've got the rest of the group with my teammate down in the lower regions he had a very poor qualifying, me on the other hand I just found some speed in the car and I just seemed to be a lot more faster than anyone else on the track but we can see now in coming into the second sector of the of the race we seem to have a little bit of pace just so I want to hit any curbs or make any mistakes into these corners otherwise we could lose our chance of taking another 25 points and then for the 4th time in a row be on the podium in an F1 race. Now 2 seconds of gap between us and Vett um, Alonso but Sebastian Vettel is right behind him and Sebastian Vettel is 1.3 seconds behind him 3 tenths of a second behind and he's definitely going to be having a look when the DRS zone is activated, we've got plus 4 laps of fuel ready in the tank so he can get a gap between us and everyone else I've kept on the standard fuel mix and somehow we've just got a gap and you can see as the cars now are starting to find their formations, Pastor Maldonado is stuck behind some cars, Pastor needs to try and get a gap and try tries to get some points, otherwise the winning Williams team will be struggling to go push for that constructors title. Now, I think at the end of last episode we saw how close we was to the race leaders and if things stay the, stay the way they are at the moment, we will be up into second behind Fernando Alonso as Mark Webber to overtake his teammate Sebastian Vettel, but quite ironic really seeing as Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel obviously had this little incident in Malaysia, but this is career mode, this is a game. If we went into pits now we'd rejoin in 22nd to 24th, so already it seems that we're a lot faster than all the other cars and this just proves that the Williams this year actually has a lot more pace than the low runners. You you can see a massive gap now on the board between us and Mark Webber who has overtaken Fernando Alonso. If things were to say the same as they were now, Mark Webber would help us and we would be up there and we would be in first position in the tight in the drivers championship. Now uh, we've set the fastest sector in sector 2 but that happens to everyone, we've got a 2.8 second gap to Mark Webber, but Mark Webber obviously has pace because he's going in one lap overtaking Webber and Alonso so we've gained two positions so surely he's got a lot more pace as he's already pulling away from Fernando Alonso who's 5 tenths behind him, coming around now onto the final co um, corner on lap 2, coming around what total lap time will be set, looks like we're going to be setting about a 121 which we do, 121.6 not the fastest in the world but it's ok for race pace when you've got a full tank of fuel and you're and you're pushing for the race win. You can see now Mark Webber's got um, taken two tenths off our, of the previous time of 2.5 seconds is now 2.3 seconds and Alonso has kept a one second gap but Mark Webber sets the fastest lap of the race by, uh, six, by uh, six tenths to our fastest Alonso is now a second behind Mark Webber so Webber's get, getting away from Alonso and Alonso seems to be getting away from Sebastian Vettel and we've got a decent enough gap from Mark Webber as we're coming onto the pits at lap 6 that is two laps earlier than the competitive drivers the reason we're coming in earlier is because I want to get them the tyres I prefer on which are the uh, harder compound tyres I prefer having the harder compound tyres because I like to uh, contain my tyres more than fast pace because my, my um, strategy is more about holding on to the track and keeping position compared to um, going around and having the fastest lap possible. I have a different strategy to some people who will just go out there on the faster tyres. And a driver we haven't really seen much in these last few races of taking the wind is Lewis Hamilton. Now we didn't see him in Canada very much. We saw him just for a little glimpse of time, Lewis Hamilton. Didn't see him in Valencia at all. When we did, we only saw him really in Silverstone break through. Lewis Hamilton is obviously contending for the title, but at this point in time, if we stay with a Williams team, it looks like drivers like Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel can most certainly take the, take the uh, reins off us as we come into the pits now for this lap. As you can see we're coming to the pits behind Alonso and there's Hamilton down in fourth. Webber's in the top spot and you can see all these cars going past us. We're the only team in the box and as you might have seen I've got a little bit of uh, gravel on our tyres because on my entry I did get a little um, 
did, did take the uh, exit a little bit uh, too lightly as I'm coming into the pits now. We come in behind Nico Hulkenberg. Nico Hulkenberg now coming alongside us and we're just chasing Nico Hulkenberg. He's taking the corner to get a good exit. If we can get in front of Hulkenberg now, going around the outside of Nico Hulkenberg to take 12th position. Coming around now, have we made a roof move stick? We do. We take the apex. We don't give him that much room. He has to yield and we do get DRS because of that. So now we're up into 12th position, 2.7 seconds behind Michael Schumacher. Now Michael Schumacher of Obviously, he's got the um, he's got the faster compound tyres. If Maldonado then takes around Hulkenberg, now Hulkenberg has not only just lost a place to us as we come out the pits, but he's also lost a place to a place to a guy who he was challenging with. Now, Nico Rosberg obviously is going to be our next target as he's been overtaken by Schumacher. Now, Schumacher is a great driver, but we know in real life he is no longer a driver. And that is the team I would love to drive for one day, Mercedes. Have me and Rosberg at the, the wheel. That would be a great partnership. But now we're chasing after Nico Rosberg, who has in fact got the faster tyres, but they're very, uh, very much falling off the cliff at the moment. I believe Schumacher goes into the pits of this lap as uh, obviously Nico Rosberg, his tyres will be coming off. And our tyres are at the optimal thing now, as long as we don't uh, keep the, uh, a nice warm temperature then we will be very very much uh, pushing for fast times and hopefully gaining some time on Mark Webber as Michael Schumacher does in fact go into the pits and we're now chasing after Nico Rosberg who are a lot faster and um, we're going on to the rich fuel mix it's Kimi Raikkonen who's also gone in the pits Kimi Raikkonen for a great team of Lotus he'd be another team we'd be looking at at the end of this episode we do in fact get an offer from a team now I won't give any spoilers but we will possibly be joining them now it'll be a team that most of us will know and most of us will love and it'll be some drive are very interesting and we can push for the constructors title now Nico Rosberg is ahead of us as Fernando Alonso comes out the pits 3.5 seconds behind us that is crucial that is guys 3.5 seconds is a huge gap you can see on the map Nico Rosberg though we're right up behind him so if we can get behind in um, front of Nico Rosberg that's just showing how much pace we have got in this Williams car going down the standard fuel mode we have so much more straight line speed of giving the setup perfectly and uh, obviously Fernando drivers like Fernando Alonso are right behind us so we want to get behind uh, stay behind Lorsberg for a minimal amount of time get around him now it's going to be interesting where we can get around him obviously he's coming into the pits and we don't want to just stay behind and be crucial as we're 0.6 of a second behind him if he was to stay out one more lap then we'd have the DRS but 4.7 second gap now to Fernando Alonso so He's got fresher tyres, but our tyres are obviously at the right temperature, so we're going to be setting the faster laps. Coming around now onto the final sector, second from last corner, going in, and we get, get a clip on Nico Rosberg. We do, in fact, do a flashback, the only flashback I think I do through this whole thing, uh, which is um, quite impressive, but you, you have to be a little bit like, oh, it's a bit harsh. I mean, Nico Rosberg obviously has broken. He's taken the racing line very slowly. You see here, he's taken the racing line. This time they'll go very cautiously, and uh, Nico Rosberg goes into the pits as we come around now onto our final uh, final few laps of the race. Now you're going to see the last two laps of the race. Definitely some interesting ones. You see Roman Grosjean. There's Lewis Hamilton. Where's everyone going to come out into the pits? Well, it's us in first. In second place is Lewis Hamilton to Fernando Alonso, who does get past. Um, who does get past Lewis Hamilton. So Lewis Hamilton now down in third. Mark Webber, what's happened to Webber? Webber's in fourth position. So he's obviously lost some time in the pits. Probably got held up by some of the cars that were um, going past. He obviously didn't get enough time. And now, something that I kind of like. We've already lapped... Um, we've we lapped um, for the first, we've lapped our first ever car, which was a uh, Narun car to kind and Narun car to kind. Never liked the guy. Never not a good driver. But um, yeah, we lapped him, and now no, we're coming up to lap. I believe this guy was Timo Glock. It might have been Glock, it might, I can't remember who it was, but uh, no, it was Charles Peake, so we've got, we're coming up to lap Charles Peake now, our, first, our second lap ever in Formula 1 2012 career mode, we've lapped a car, and of all the tracks, you would expect it to be Hockenheim, also Monza will be a track that we could probably lap, and our, well, in our, um, obviously we've got Hungary, and then Spa were coming up, um, I probably doubt we will lap anyone in Spa, but no, lap 16, we've lapped a car, hopefully Alonso will be kept behind, but you see we've got a decent gap, between us and the Ferrari of Fernando Alonso, 2.5 seconds, who has then got 1.6 seconds on our British rival, Lewis Hamilton. Now, this is probably going to be a battle to the end to see which of, um, which of the four Brits on the circuit, on the, um, not on the circuit, sorry, on the grid are the fastest. Obviously, you've got us, Jensen Button, Lewis Hamilton and Paul De Resta. And obviously, in the next game, we'll have Max Chilton as well. And uh, hopefully, we'll see which one of us is the fastest driver in all of Formula 1. Now at the moment, if things stay the way they are, we are the fastest British driver on the circuit. Coming round now onto our final lap of the race, Hockenheim 2012. This is when it was. This is when the race was Hockenheim 2012. It's going to be our race, guys, and let's hope 
we can have some celebrations and some champagne as the clouds go a little bit grey and dark looking like it's about to rain and as long as it doesn't rain whilst we're racing it's perfectly fine going under the Panasonic sign coming up to the probably the toughest corner on the circuit the hairpin style one as long as we get the braking fine hitting the apex getting a little bit of a cut there but it's perfectly fine levelling our car straight so we can get around the corner perfectly coming around now going to hit that apex as well as we possibly can getting that fine going at full speed as we um, no, not using many curves there coming around now making sure we don't get any white lines going around this sector because this is a sector you can definitely spin around now coming around into the very last sector of the race setting a fastest second sector so when our tyres are at their worst and when our car is at its lightest we set our fastest middle sector it is going to be our fastest lap three seconds behind him three seconds behind us is Fernando Alonso and then three seconds behind him I believe that three seconds behind him is Lewis Hamilton so that is a big gap there coming around now to the second from last corner going around the final corner getting a little wide there gonna level the car gonna go and celebrate with the team as we do in fact take the race win here in Hockenheim Germany our third win of the Formula One calendar Pastor Maldonado down in 13th and I believe that is our fifth podium in all of the all of the career modes maybe our uh, sixth podium I'm not sure if Catalonia we got a podium I'm not 100% sure but guys our next race is in Hungary and you can see there Fernando Alonso second Hamilton third Mark Webber got to be gutted as he finished fourth uh, Button down in eighth uh, Duresta in 17th Maldonado Maldonado down in 13th there's Felipe Massa down behind Maldonado so the two Williams finished in front of their um, the secondary driver and the first driver obviously uh, Romain Grosjean now down there and you can see now coming into the drivers championship we are third um, second sorry Four points behind Alonso, six points behind Alonso is Lewis Hamilton, nine points behind him is, uh, Mark, is um, I believe, Mark Webber, yeah, sorry, uh, no, nine points is Vettel, Twin, uh, 36 points is Webber, and Jensen Button is 46 points behind him, so Button and Webber, I doubt, are in the title contendership, never, can't really say anything, but there's the driver's, uh, the constructor's title, uh, Kate Drum obviously scored a point with Vitaly Petrov, but we're in fourth, uh, we've got Mercedes Sauber behind us, but guys, now is the interesting thing. The team that we will be joining is...